What's up, ballers? It's Bobby Buckets, back with another episode of NBA Live Mobile. And in today's episode, we're going to be checking out our first ever theme lineup. So I've seen a couple other YouTubers do these. I thought it'd be cool to try some out. So our first team that we're trying out is the Celtics. So we've got pretty solid lineup, honestly. Uh, I thought Bob Cousy was going to be expensive. Turns out his stats are really terrible, but that also means his collectibles are crazy cheap. So I got most of his collectibles for like 4 or 5k. I'm pretty sure I put him together for like 150k max because I already had some trophies. So super cheap for me to put this together and probably going to be able to actually sell him for a profit once we're done with this. But you can see right there he's got 85 speed, 91 dribbling, 96 passing. Really everything else is pretty terrible. His three pointer is okay. His defense is absolutely terrible. Uh, then we have Avery Bradley, really our only gold player, because there are very few lineups that you can have everybody on the same team in the same lineup uh, and have all five positions. So four, I think, was pretty close to the max amount of elite players you could have all in one lineup unless you were trying to do like the Warriors or something like that. Uh, and then we got rising star Jalen Brown right here. Pretty solid stats. He gives us a plus one defensive attribute bonus and a plus one three point bonus. Always going to like that three point bonus. So 85 shooting, 80 defense, 78 passing, 73 three pointer, 85 speed, 68 dribbling. Pretty solid card. Then we've got our throwback Kevin Garnett right here. Really solid shooting stat with an 84. Also got that 82 defense. And then all the others are okay. 70 speed is pretty good for big man. And then we've got Al Horford right here. Once again, a really solid shooting stat and defensive stat. So 84 and 85 for those. And we got that 79 passing. So not an incredibly big lineup for a big man lineup. Our power forward is actually bigger than our center. But we're going to go ahead and jump into some gameplay. Uh, we are going to play head-to-head, -head, but this is my pack opening account. So, uh... We're going to absolutely destroy some kids right now. Going against the 60 overall team with our 86 overall team. This is actually going to be really, really fun. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see. Uh, sorry in advance to whoever I'm playing. Uh, just know that you got to be featured in one of my videos. And I lose the jump ball. <laughs> of course I did. All right, let's see. Can we get a steal here? He does have a very terrible defensive stat. And for some reason, it's gotten harder to get steals, but we get the board right there with Jalen Brown. I know he has some crazy good hops, so hopefully he has some nice dunks. What? We have blocked on the... F mm, all right. All right, blocked on the first possession. Maybe we can get a steal. Come on, give me something. We can't... Oh, there we go. Oh, going to throw up that alley. Go to the basket. Th throw the... Mm, throw the alley-oop. You know what? We're going to let Kevin Garnett take a little mitt. What? Al Horford, you better make that layup. Oh, and we almost got gold 10 to 2. Okay. Not off to a great start. Not sure why Kevin missed that. Uh, with a 82 shooting stat, he should be able to make that relatively easily. Come on. And offensive foul right there. That's nice. All right. Giving up a basket to Marcelo Huertas. Let's see. Can we get to the bat? There we go. Nice spin move. Oh, dunk on him or mid -ra Why can't I? He has a 90-something shoot. Oh, wait, no. He might have a really bad shooting stat. Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. <laughs> okay. You know what? We're going to throw it up to Kevin Garnett. Let's see if he can spin move or just sit there. Al Horford with the jumper. There we go. Finally making our mid-ranges. Really no three-point shooters on this team. I think Jalen Brown is our best with like a 75 or something. And we get a foul right there. That is so annoying. I wish they would just go for the steal rather than fouling. And that means we can't foul again, which means we can't go for the steal on a double team. Come on, go out, get the steal. Urgh, this is not going as well as I thought. <laughs> uh, this is probably going to take a little practice for me to get into it. So we might have to play three quarters. I usually only do two. Avery Bradley with the miss again. <laughs> Oh, four to two. This is this is kind of sad. No, this isn't kind of sad. This is really sad. Come on. Come on, Bob. There we go. Bob with the steal. Oh, go dunk on him. Go dunk on him, Bob. Spin move. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Why do you keep doing these crazy fadeaway layups? Oh, my. Mm. Come on. Get a block. That should have been blocked. 
it's okay. It's not going to go in. Uh, so a little bit of a rough first quarter, but hopefully we can start to heat up a little bit in the next quarter. Still not sure how great this team is offensively. It's more of these are the best players I could get for this lineup. I would probably really never use any of these players if I were actually building a team, but it is fun to see what kind of matchups you can get because there really aren't that many lineups where you can get five elite players from the same team, or even four elite players, or even three elite players. It's surprisingly hard. And we lose the jump ball again. I don't know why this is happening. Come on, L, take take the ball from him. Mm. All right, KG, there we go. All right, we get the board. Honestly, I'm just going to try to dunk with Jalen Brown the whole time. Spin move. Oh, my gosh, he's doing it again. What are you doing? Just dunk the ball. You're like... <laughs> He's like a freak athlete, and he just wants to do his little fadeaway. I don't even know what he's doing. Where is he? There he is. Oh, Al with the mid-range. Okay, finally knocking down a shot. Seems like Al Horford's the only person that can score on this team. I would definitely not recommend picking up this Bob Cousy card if you need a big man point guard. I know he's probably the cheapest 91 on the auction house, but there is definitely a reason for that. I think he's going for like 400 something K, which was the reason I put him together because I knew he probably wasn't going to resell for that much. Come on, KG. Oh, fade away. All right, that was pretty nice. I'll take that. It's a nice little jump shot. And obviously, Big Man is one of the most overpowered lineups in the game. Uh, it's I'm pretty sure it's relatively easy to get like a 94 overall Big Man lineup. And we get scored on again. My gosh, this is this is not looking great. Um, so big man being one of the best lineups in the game, but, um, there are definitely some good options, especially if you don't have a lot of coins. If you want a good lineup without a lot of coins, big man is definitely the way to go. Come on, get, give me a steal here. Oh, we cannot lose to this team. Are you kidding me? That another thing that really annoys me about this game is basically whenever you're playing against the AI and they do one of those either layup motions oh my gosh there we go are you kidding me goaltending that is goaltending <laughs> oh my gosh the ball was on the way down um so a goaltending bothers me but b uh any basically anytime they get into a shooting motion the ai does uh for like a layup or a dunk there's no way to block it like regardless of how good it is whether it's dikembe mutombo or kevin garnett it's basically impossible to block the shots, which is really annoying. Oh my gosh, we're going to lose to this team. There we go. We get a block. Maybe a full court shot with Kevin Garnett. No. Okay. So we've, uh, in the past two quarters, we've won by a total of two points going against 60 overall teams. Now, that being said, there are some balance changes that EA does so obviously, this is not what it would be like if it was actually a 60 overall versus an 86 overall, but still not playing great. So hopefully, maybe we'll try some three-pointers. I don't know. We haven't taken any threes yet just because I assumed I wouldn't make any. And it's finally winning the jump ball right there. You know what? I think Avery Bradley can shoot. Let's see. All right, so knocking down a three off the bat. Honestly, that's probably... <laughs> That's really all I do whenever I play live events or head-to-head -head or league versus league is shoot three-pointers. Uh, so it makes sense that I would be able to make them with these players, even if they're not great three-point shooters. Pull one with Jalen. Can he knock it down? All right. So uh, <laughs> I guess we see what happens whenever I stick with what I'm best at. Can we get a steal right here? Oh, Bob, take that. If only he had something better than like a 58 defensive stat. <laughs> And Nick Collison better miss that. There we go, Bob Cousy. Let's see if Bob can knock down a three. Good old old school Bob. Let's see. Old school. Knocking him down. All right. We are three for three from three. Uh, and that's probably more of the overall differential in the lineups coming into play right there. Hopefully, let's see. Can we get a steal? Honestly, we could probably score 20 points. Oh, nasty block. Not sure how we got the ball back, but that's out of bounds. So I'm not going to worry about it. Let's see, who are we, who we going to shoot with next? Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to shoot with Kevin Garnett, but it's pretty much a guaranteed miss. Plus 10. Oh, oh my gosh. I, all right, we got to do that again. I cannot believe his foot was on the line. Oh, that was such a good shot. He was open, timed it perfectly. Oh, take the ball, Bob. 
Oh my gosh, why did there have to? There we go. Kevin Garnett, going to be open for three. Come on. Oh no, plus six. Oh, I thought I was going to have it. All right, that was that was really tempting. <laughs> it's amazing how much easier it is to score on the perimeter than it is going to the basket because that's like opposite of how real basketball is. Uh, let's see. We'll give it to Kevin Garnett. We're going to give him one more shot at it. Come on, Kevin, knock it down. Mm, that's disappointing. And Jalen Brown definitely should have had that rebound. They're going to get a layup right here, but that's okay because we get the ball back. Not going to try a three with Al Horford because I don't think that'll end well. We will take one with Bob Cousy, and he knocks it down again. So maybe a little bit better than I was giving him credit for. Obviously, there are hidden stats that we're not going to see, so he's probably always going to play better than his stats say, especially with a card that's like a 91 overall that looks terrible. So honestly, if you want to pick him up, he's looking pretty good for me, but that's going to be about it for this episode. We finally got a good quarter in after those two horrendous first quarters. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you did. Also, if there are any other theme lineups that you would like to see, comment those down below, and I will see you guys next time.